We know that during any muscle contraction from the abdominals, the transversus contract to help with the stability of the linea alba. This means that when the transversus contracts, it pulls laterally to increase tension in the linea alba to make it stiffer. It's easier for the other, the other abdominal muscles to express their strength because the structure onto which they attach is firm, is rigid, is solid. So I often give this example to my patients. Picture that you are a, a, at a kid's playground and that you want to pull yourself up on a monkey bar. The monkey bars are very stiff structures, right? So you can use like the, the best out of your arms, the strength of your arm muscles to pull you upwards. But imagine now that the monkey bars are not made of steel or metal anymore, but that they are big elastic bands. Imagine yourself trying to use that same arm strength from your arms to pull yourself upwards and how much harder it would be to act to really like pull on the elastic bands in comparison to these stiff metal uh, bars. So it, a lot of the strength, the strength of your arms kind of get lost in the elasticity of the elastic bands in comparison to the metal bar, uh, bars. Sorry. So to be able to use your abdominal muscles strongly, they do need a stiff attachment in the middle. And when the transversus contracts, while well, it stiffens that linea alba, which allows a stiffer attachment to these muscles so that you can use the strength and power you have in your abdominal muscles. So in the women who was never pregnant, the linea alba has not been previously stretched and it just sits with, you know, its normal RD at rest. If the transversus contracts strongly enough, it will be able to maintain that IRD, you know, the same width of the linea alba during the effort, it will just be stiffer. 